Hey guys, Dougie here. Welcome to my Dark Souls 3 lore video. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. And the Ashen One arises. And the Ashen One arises. Let's go, Cubber. Yeah, just go, Cubber. If you look real close to the ground, you can see a bunch of cigarette butts. This tells me that me mates were getting on the piss and smoking too many durries, creating all sorts of ash piles to come out of. If you read the burnt durries item description, it says, Three men trespassed this very ground. Enslaved with Durry Love, the God of Light and his brother Lord Gwyn were engulfed with flame causing ash bestowed upon their very footprints. You'll notice that they don't mention the third person, but I'm pretty sure that would have been me mate Barry. Baz has been known to avoid a thing or two, but I got a feeling I know where that cheeky bugger went. Got himself into a bit of a pickle, I bet. Mr Grundy, also known as Toxic Barry is an ancient warrior from the land far, far from here known as Alabama. Not to be confused with Barakabama, but from the same general galaxy. If you look closely, you'll see some black shit coming out of his back. This stuff is known as molasses. I used to feed this stuff to me horses back in 1984, back when me mum used to give me a right hiding for stuffing me little brother's face down the long drop. Ah, those were the good old days. Anyway, back to Mr Grundy. If you look at the item description for this here fire pole, it says, Long ago in a land to the north, an ancient warrior returned to take revenge for his people who were executed by the Tolans of the Profane Flame. The warrior wiped out all their lands but did not know they had been ready for him. They cast the Black Molasta spell of binding, forever keeping him to his physical form. He fled to a faraway place, oh sorry, he fled to a, sorry, he fled to a faraway land seeking a cure to his curse. If you listen carefully, you can hear him whisper. Keep an ear out to see if you can hear what this bugger's going on about. Fucking cunts. Crikey Moses. These flaming mongrels have stuck me here in this fucking shithole. I'll play that one more time with the audio cranked right up to 11. Listen out. See if you can hear what he's saying. Fucking cunts. Crikey Moses. These flaming mongrels have stuck me here in this fucking shithole. You hear that, fellas? This old bugger's called a crikey Moses. Shit's really hit the fan for this bloody mongrel. Ah, uh, it's a sad story, mate, but it's time to fight. Either you're gonna give me a hiding like me mum used to, or you'll rack off back to where you came from. Alright, just gonna pull this here sword out and give this bugger a whirl. With that poor old Barry's come Augusta, and is free of the molasses that bound him to this here place for all those years. Dutch Oven Cove is the place where all me mates hang out and get stoned. I try telling them to get out and see the world, but they all just sit around here in the big old chairs getting high off their faces. You've got me mate Gordon, who just sits here banging on this fucking metal thing all fucking day long. It drives me bloody bonkers. Hey Gordon, if there's no weapon there, you don't gotta keep banging that thing, mate. 
Yeah? You bloody nut job. And then you got Selena. She's so out of it she thinks she can see through those glasses. Well, I don't know what she sees, but I don't think it's my handsome noggin, that's for sure. And then there's Tony. That reminds me. Me mate Tony owes me some money for the weed I got him the other day. Hey Tony, why are you looking so upset for, you stupid prick? Oh, I don't know. You stupid bugger, you forgot me money again, didn't you? Yeah, sorry, Doug. Me dad took all me Centrelink money out and spent it on the pokies. What'd I tell you, Tony? If you don't get me my money by today, I'm gonna give you a right hiding. Fair go, Dougie. I'll get paid tomorrow. Can you wait? Please, Dougie. Oh, alright, Tony. Only because I love you, buddy. But your last chance, alright? Uh, alright, cheers, Dougie. <laughs> Turns out Tony forgot me money again, so I had to teach him a lesson good and proper. There's no real significant law in this area, other than it being a perfect spot for these lazy pricks to sit around getting stoned all day, instead of going out in the land of Lothric and helping me out with a few dodgy bloody areas. Anyway, that does it for this law video. Stay tuned for the next one where I explain how teleportation between bonfires work, and how Dutch Oven Cove is connected to the rest of the world. Cheers! Dougie out!